This is LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. Who is Jonah Jackson? How was his early life? How does he project to be with the Detroit Lions? How can he upgrade the offensive line? What is his strengths? What is his weaknesses? How does it affect our team? Let's take a look. Jonah Jackson is a guard for the Detroit Lions, selected in the third round, 75th pick overall. He is 6'4", 310 pounds and he grew up in Media, Pennsylvania and attended Pencrest High School. He was named the first team All Central Athletic League and first team All Delaware County as a senior. Jackson spent the first four seasons of his collegiate career at Rutgers. He redshirted his true freshman season and played in all 12 of the Scarlet Knights games the next season mostly on the field goal protection unit. Jackson played center as a redshirt sophomore, playing in six games and starting five contests before suffering a season-ending injury. As a redshirt junior, Jackson started 11 games at right guard, though he missed one game due to injury as he was named honorable mention all Big Ten Conference. Following that season, he announced that he would be leaving Rutgers as a graduate transfer eventually to choose to attend Ohio State after visiting Oklahoma. He wanted to be part of a winner. Already having his undergraduate degree in criminology in hand, he elected to use that year and show his abilities at Ohio State. As a member of the Buckeyes, he started all 14 games at left guard and went to become first team all Big Ten selection. What is his strengths? What is his weaknesses? His strengths is inside awareness. Because of his experience, Jackson has seen everything possible that defenses can throw at him. His headlines is often seen when picking up blitzes stunts to his slide. When feeling threatened of his gap and completely voided he set back vertically and continuously scans until the most dangerous threat appears. Hardly ever caught out of position and chasing away moving loopers, he passes them off to his counterparts and anticipates outside threats to re-enter into a signed gap. Finishing, already possessing light feet combined with heavy hands, it helps Jackson with finishing plays. Always having the mindset that a play isn't over until the man across from him is in the ground. That demeanor carries over as a run blocker. There are multiple plays in film where he goes the extra mile when finishing the opposition. An added bonus with his skill set, but he most impressive is his play patience control and known for operating tempos. Jackson knows when to slow down or speed up in order to win his blocks. His interior versatility is a key strength. Jackson has experience at all three interior spots, played each at height level with a naval confidence that he can play any three spots with success. While those areas, he settled into both guard spots and looked more comfortable there compared to center. Being able to wear more hats will only boost his playing ability for the Detroit Lions. After being in conference foe's locker room, Jackson made the transition to the Buckeyes easy, a situation that was a credit to, to his character and work ethic as a new member of the program. There weren't any rifts or known altercations while making the transition, and once seeing his habits, the team welcomed him as a starter. Negatives, things that he can work on when he is playing for the Detroit Lions. His hand accuracy, when striking to land his hands in the target areas, 
there's never really a sense of having a plan as where he will land them. Instead, Jackson can simply hope to land them in his body and defensive linemen. There isn't much rhythm or reason behind their places, them as a result of him losing many leverage in battles. Struggling with sticking on the defenders, his inaccurate hands are an underlying reason for this issue. Lower half synchronization. Jackson often dances two different beats, meaning that his upper and lower halves can often on two polar opposite schedules while he extends his arms to engage in blocks. His lower body can be pointing in a completely different direction. Marrying up to those components would help him become a more consistent run blocker. Sky high pad level though. In his career, Jackson played an alarmingly high pad level. There are instances where he stands straight up and attempts to block away, bending at the knees and maintaining the positioning remaining challenges for him will be the biggest one the team that can take chance going forward. How can he help the Detroit Lions? Projection and where he will be for the Detroit Lions. The right guard position, an open spot for the Detroit Lions. We need help when it comes to the right side and to, he will be a fit there for that opening spot. In between Frank Ragnow, the center, and Halapaludi Vitae, the right tackle, he will help solidify opening holes for the run game. For the Detroit Lions running attack, carry on Johnson, Bo Scarborough, a new addition, DeAndre Swift. Also, he will help bolster protecting the quarterback, Matthew Stafford, keeping him upright and giving him more time in the pocket to deliver the football to his weapons. He is an upgrade from the position that we have not had solidified for many years. He is a upgrade for the pass protection as well as run blocking protection and will make the Detroit Lions offensive line one of the better ones in the NFL. Jonah Jackson is a quality addition, a quality pick in the third round and will really help the Detroit Lions offense go to the next level.